Hi guys, welcome back. So I am so excited to be back filming again. It's been a while. It's technically only been one weekend that I haven't had to film, but still, it's I feel very naked and my OCD takes over and I'm just like, I need to film. I've missed you guys so, so much and I'm so excited to be back. So I will most likely have a video up um, after this sometime today on Nikki's Nonsense, just explaining some things that are new that are happening that most of you know about if you watch my snapchat but if you don't then you have no idea and you probably need to know because I'm taking you guys along with me for this journey who which which hopefully has a very good ending so that's not what we're here for today we're doing I hauled it but did I like it so I have a few products that I want to talk to you guys about that I've been reviewing for the past couple of weeks. And then I found something at TJ Maxx that I think might be a very good dupe for a high-end mascara. So I want to like put that to the test and try it out. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, then just sit tight and we'll get right into it. So let's first start off with this dupe that I believe I found. You never know. I do know that they are definitely trying to at least be a dupe of this brand. And so the brand that I'm talking about is Benefit. And this is their, their real mascara, which is $24. And you get... 8.5 grams of product in this. So while I was at TJ Maxx the other day, I found another mascara that looks oddly similar by W7. These two... Is there a difference? <laughs> now this by W7 is called their Absolute Lashes and with this, how much do we get? We get 0.45 fluid ounces or 13 milliliters. So there's a little bit more in the Absolute Lashes from W7 than there is in the Benefit They're Real. Now like I said, Benefit is $24. I got this mascara for $2.99. $2.99 at TJ Maxx. Now, if you want to go on the W7 website, which you can, they are a very good affordable brand. They are more so out of UK, I believe, but they do have a USA site to order from. But if you go on there, I believe that this is $8.95 on there, which is still like half the price of this. Actually, like way less, like a quarter. There we go. <laughs> so if you look at the wands, you literally cannot tell the difference. They have these same exact wands. They have the same exact packaging, that very spiky kind of look to the wand, and then that little kind of ball effect at the end. So they both look exactly the same to me. The W7 does look like it might be a little bit of a drier formula than the Benefit They're Real. So let's test these out. I'm going to test out one on one eyelash and the other one on the other eyelash, and then we'll come back and we'll figure out if this is really a dupe. All right, so I'm going to start with the Benefit They're Real. I'm going to put that on this eye here. This has a very wet formulation, and it is extremely dark. And there we go. That's what it looks like. Mm. And then the W7 on the other eye. This has a more dry formula. And there's what that looks like. Now I really feel like the W7 kind of extends my lashes up a little bit more than this does. Like you can see it a little bit higher than you can this one. But if you use them together. Oh, and don't put yourself in the DMI with it. Look at if you use them together. Don't mind all that. I just stabbed myself in the eyeball, but yeah it's a good thing that they labeled the top with the w7 or i probably would have put the wrong wand in the wrong tube that is a close dupe all right so i tested these out one on each eye and something that i noticed is the w7 does have a drier formula as the benefit they're real does have a more wet formula the weird thing about it though is i really do kind of feel like 
the W7, like, they're completely different. Like, I don't really feel like they're dupes because they, they do two completely different things for my eyelashes personally. So the W7, I found that while it was drier, it lifted my eyelashes a little bit more. Well, the Benefit is more wet and darker of a formula, but it actually made my eyelashes not extend upward as much as a W7. So they look like dupes. They're made to be dupes, but the formula, I don't think we can call it a dupe because they don't do the same thing. But I will tell you something. If you already have the Benefit They're Real mascara and you want to pick this up, if you use these two together, it will blow your mind. It is amazing. I don't know if it's because the dry formula versus the wet, they mix together so well, but it's so good. And it's really hard to mix mascaras and not have them get very clumpy or like spider-like. And a lot of us don't like that look. It's not a good look most of the time. But because of the wand and the wand being so similar, because of the wand and how spiky it is and how it combs through your lashes, you won't have that problem with these two mascaras, which is awesome. So I would really say that if you want something, it might be a dupe. It might be close enough and worth it if you can get the W7 to grab it if you don't want to get the benefit they're real. However, I think that if you have the chance to have both of them, do it because it's a combination that I have been absolutely loving and I think that just makes my eyelashes personally look amazing. However, reviewing mascaras can be extremely hard to buy them off someone's review because of the fact that everybody's eyelashes are different and mascaras work so differently for everybody. So take this with a grain of salt. All right, now I want to move on to this powder that I, I'm pretty shocked about. Now this is from Catrice and this is their Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder Waterproof Transparent Powder. Ugh. It's a mouthful. It's a lot. There's a lot. Now this is Prime and Fine. It's waterproof. It's translucent. It's a silky waterproof powder for a long lasting mattified and flawless complexion. It resists humidity. Fits every skin tone with soft focus effect and vitamin A and E. So this actually has a lot, like a lot of claims. It's supposed to be pretty bomb. So I was really excited about it. Now it is a really affordable brand that you can find at Ulta. So I was like, all right, I want to try some out. Haven't had the chance. Chanel for our Christmas swap bought me a couple of things. So I've been trying them out except for the eyeshadow. I need to get to that. But this is something that I have been using constantly. I'm wearing it today and I'm pretty pleased with it. With the waterproof, I don't know how I feel about that just because I have been a hot mess lately and sweating a lot and I do find that it is coming through. I mean, of course it would. It's really hard for me to be like believing in a powder that says that it's waterproof. That's a little weird to me, but it's not something that I would have wanted it for. So that's not a claim that's like a make it or break it for me. Now with the mattifying, absolutely. It is mattifying and I do appreciate that. I do like it. And one thing I do like is that even though it's mattifying, it's not extremely mattifying. So it's not going to dry you out if you already have dry skin. It's not going to crack your foundation or your concealer. It is very, very silky on your face. I love how it feels. I love how it feels. The translucent is something that is a little off for me. Now it is translucent, but if you are a darker skin tone, I do think that this will either leave a white cast on you or will lighten your foundation because I do find that it does that for me and I have a lighter skin tone, but I love this. Even with the fact that it's not exactly waterproof in my opinion, that it's not exactly translucent in my opinion, I still love this so much. I love how it sets my foundation, how it sets my concealer. I love how it feels. I love how it looks and I love how it wears. So I would highly recommend this 100%, but there are a lot of claims on it that for me personally did not hold true. So that is definitely something to think about. All right, now I want to move on to this sleek makeup highlighter. Look how dirty that is. Disgusting. Well, there's one point of the review your packaging looks like garbage. It just takes up every fingerprint. Every fingerprint. Now this is Sleek Makeup's highlighting palette in Solstice. So everybody raved this up once Jaclyn Hill got a hold of it and I just threw the brush so we're not looking at that one today. This is so awkward. I can't really get it to where I can't blind you in any aspect of showing this but 
Jaclyn Hill raved this up and then all of a sudden everybody wanted it but it did die down very quickly which for me if I see something like that happen it's usually because it's not good and people you know grab it because someone hyped it up and then they're like eh no but that's not really the case I grabbed this off allcosmeticwholesale.com one of my favorite sites to get really affordable high-end brands or drugstore doesn't matter but I have been pleasantly pleased with this. Now the highlighters are gorgeous. The powdered highlighters are very reflective. The yellow one is the one that is the least reflective. The more kind of lavender and the gold are out of this world reflective. And it also does come with a cream highlighter, which isn't as reflective either. But if you use that underneath the powdered highlighters, especially the yellow one, you're going to see a 10 times increase in the reflectability if that's even a word, <laughs> reflectability of the powders. I think that the purple, which is the one that Jaclyn Hill raved up, that is the one that is the most reflective. I'm actually using it in my inner corner today, and then I'm using the gold one here as my highlight. And I have it very, like, blended out because it can be extremely overpowering. So I actually did put this on over top. I did a get ready with me for this, which you guys will see later on in the week. But I had to change it up because I want to wear some of the things I talk about. So I had to put this on over top of the other highlighter I had and pop it into the inner corner. And you guys, it can change a whole look. This is under $15. I believe I got it for $12. And it is so completely worth it if you're looking for a highlighter palette. This is amazing. I mean, it is beyond any other kind of reflective highlighter that I have in my collection or that I've ever seen. I'm very, very pleased with this. I think that it's something that Jaclyn Hill was 100% correct in hyping up because it's so affordable and so much better than so many other high-end brands out there that it's shocking. And things like this are what people like us need. Something we can afford and something that's going to knock you on your ass. <laughs> it's going to knock you on your ass. Like that's something that we can appreciate being hyped up. So I'm actually 100% happy with this. I'm so glad I got it. I don't regret it one bit. I think it's one of the few things that's hyped up that's actually worth it. All right, and the last thing that I want to talk about, which you guys might yell at me for, because I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared, but I do have my opinion on this. And this is the Kathleen Lights Polish, and I have this one in Snickerdoodles because my friend Chanel bought it for me, and I was so excited. Now, it doesn't have much to do with the fact that it's Kathleen Lights Polishes. I'm just, I'm not really into any YouTuber big enough to get excited about collaborations. It's all about the product. I love nail polish and this color and a couple other ones that I want to get are just amazing. She has a very amazing, like, classy taste. And it's a taste that I like as well. So a lot of the stuff that Kathleen Lights collaborates with and the colors that she comes up with are my jam. So I like Kathleen Lights collaborations a lot more than other people's. So I got this in Snickerdoodle and I just wanted to tell you guys how I felt about it. I've done a complete manicure with it. Now why I said you guys might yell at me because I'm not prepared is because I don't have any pictures to show you guys of me using this. And honestly my nails and the, the surrounding skin is so dry and breaking apart and disgusting. I don't want you guys to see my nails right now. They're, they're not pretty and they're not cute. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about how I felt about this. Now, I absolutely love the wand on this. It's a lot like the Sally Hansen um, wands where it's kind of like an oval shaped almost and it gets right up next to your cuticles without having a break between the nail and the cuticle. It's so good. It's so easy to use and I just appreciate that so much. So that was one thing where I was like, all right, Kathleen, you did a good job. The packaging overall, it's a pretty heavy and thick glass which I like and it has a matte top here which looks so good if I could have all of my nail polish look like this I would she's she's done an amazing job an amazing job here with the packaging and the wand so overall she already had caught my eye and I already felt like it was way it was way better than the price you pay usually you have to pay like a good 20 bucks for something like this so I was very pleased I was pleased with the price with the packaging and with the wand but let's get on to the formula. Now the formula is opaque. You need, with at least with Snickerdoodles, you'll need a good two coats. But the thing that caught me the most about this is how 
thick it is. It is an extremely thick nail polish, almost like how thick the Sech Vite, Sech Vite gets when it's like halfway down and it starts getting really goopy. That's how this is right off the bat, which makes me a little worried for when I do get down lower on the bottle if I'm even going to be able to use it because of how thick it is. I don't know about the other formulations on the other colors, but I do know that Snickerdoodle is extremely, extremely thick and that can make it a little bit hard to work with. Now wear wise you guys I use the SE where is it? I use an SE right here. For a top coat on this I use the SE what are you? I think it's like the gel top coat only it's not really a gel you don't have to cure it or anything. It's the twisty bottle so you guys will know what it is. But I used that over top of this manicure and it lasted over a week with no chips nothing. So I was very, very pleased with that. So the only thing that I don't like about this is how goopy it is. It's just, it makes me worried for when I get lower down on the bottle if it's actually going to be able to go on my nails, if I'm going to be able to work with it. So that makes me a little hesitant. And if you guys have gotten any other nail polishes from her, can you please let me know in the comments if they're goopy for you as well? Because I'd really like to know. I do know that someone told me that they actually returned their nail polishes that they got from her because they hated them. But I have to say, everything but the goopiness is amazing to me and I do want more. I'm just a little bit worried about that. So if you've gotten any of her nail polishes, leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are because I'd really, really like to know. All right, so that is everything that I wanted to review and talk to you guys about. I'm sorry that I was not prepared about the Kathleen Lights polish. If I get more, I will have swatches or live swatches ready and available for you guys. I'm just getting back onto the whole filming and knowing what I gotta do. I'm, I swear, you stop filming for a week and you forget everything. It's not like riding a bike. You fall off and you don't know how to pedal anymore. <laughs> so please bear with me this week while I try to get back into the groove of things. I promise I will do better. Everything I talked about I will have linked down below in the description box. If you guys have any questions or concerns about anything that I reviewed, anything that I didn't cover, leave them in the comments and as always I will get back to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.